Hey there, cake lovers. Whether you are a home baker or just getting into the cake business, one of the most challenging tasks can be pricing your cake. You want to make sure you're charging enough to cover your cost and time, but offering a fair price to your customers. In today's video, we are diving deep into how to price a cake properly. By the end of this video, you will have the confidence to price your cake like a pro. Our first point is understanding your cost. Let's talk about cost. To price your cakes accurately, you need to understand the expenses involved. There are three main costs to consider. Ingredients, overhead, and labor. The first is calculating your ingredient cost. Start by calculating the cost of all ingredients used in your cake. This might include flour, sugar, eggs, butter, flavorings, and any special decorations. Don't forget to account for any extras like fondant, edible glitter, or specialty toppings. Keep track of how much each ingredient costs and how much you use for each cake. For example, if you use 500 grams of flour, an entire 1 kg bag costs 30 cities then your flour cost 15 cents. I don't know if you get it. So if you use 500 grams of flour and the entire bag of flour you bought was 30 cents, then it is half, meaning you use half. So it means that the flour you used is 15 cents. The next is consider your overhead cost. Overhead costs are cost of running your kitchen. It includes electricity, water, gas, and the depreciation of your equipment, like mixers, oven, and even the cake pans. A simple way to calculate this is to assign a small percentage of this cost to each cake. For instance, you might estimate that each cake uses about 20 cities worth of electricity, gas, and wear and tear on your equipment. I hope you get it. So our next is to factor in your labor. Your time is valuable. Decide how much you want to pay yourself per hour. Then calculate how many hours you spend on baking, decorating, and cleaning up. Multiply that by your hourly rate. So let's say, for example, you've calculated that you want to pay yourself 30 cities per an hour. What you just do is you multiply the 30 cities by how many hours you work. So if you work five hours, all you have to do is to calculate the 30 cities by five, which is 150 cities for five hours. Our next point is setting your profit margin. Now that we have covered your costs, it's time to talk about profit. You want to ensure you are not just breaking even but also making profit. A good rule of thumb is to aim at a 20 to 30% profit margin. So the first step is add up all your ingredient costs, your overhead costs, and labor costs. Let's say it sums up to 100 cities. For a 30% profit margin, you would multiply your 
total cost by 1.3. That is 100 cities by 1.3, which is 130 cities. Your final price for the cake should be 130 cities. This price ensures that all your costs are covered and you're making a healthy profit. Our next part is adjusting for market rates. Before you finalize your price, it's a good idea to compare it with what other bakers are charging for similar cakes in your area. Research local bakeries or online cake businesses to see their prices. If your price is much higher or lower, adjust accordingly. You might find that you need to adjust your profit margin or perhaps charge more if your cakes are more intricate or use premium ingredients. Our next point is handling special requests and complexity. Not all cakes are created equal. If a customer requests a custom design, multiple tiers or special flavors, you will need to adjust your pricing. More complexity means more time, more ingredients and often more overheads. So what I usually do is, if you are ordering for a flavor, I charge my normal price. But once you are ordering for multiple flavors, the prices changes. So let's say I charge 100 cities for one flavor. Once you are ordering for two flavors, the price changes to 150 cities. For custom cakes, break down the additional cost, just like we did earlier. Consider the extra time for design, consultation, specialized tools, and any premium ingredients. Add a complexity fee. Consider adding a complexity fee for intricate designs or large orders. This can be a flash rate or a percentage of the total price. And that is it, guys. Pricing a cake doesn't have to be intimidating. Just remember to account for all your costs. Factor in a fair profit margin and adjust based on market and complexity. With these tips, you will be well on your way to running a profitable cake business. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, don't forget to hit the notification bell below so that when I upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. Please don't forget that one day at a time is the best. Till we meet in our next video, please stay safe and bye!